how are we doing under continental free trade area? In, 20, in 2022, generally uh, around, uh, around October 2022, out of eight countries that were selected under guided trade initiative to be piloted, three were coming from East Africa, Rwanda, Kenya, and the United Republic of Tanzania. By that time, Uganda was not ready uh, because it had not met the requirements to be piloted. So now Uganda is part of the hmm, 35 countries under guided trade initiative. So as a region, generally we are ahead of other regions in terms of taking advantage of the CFTA because we are more prepared than other, uh, other regions in terms of products, but also in terms of information, in terms of exports. Uh, and this is where the EABC has been working with our partner states, our governments, to ensure that we prepare our exporters. I mentioned that uh, Rwanda started exporting coffee to Ghana, uh, Kenya started exporting uh, tea and batteries, excite batteries to Ghana, uh, Tanzania has been exporting coffee and, uh, and other cereal products including cashew nuts. So the region is already exporting, is already taking advantage. And uh, looking at the statistics, Uganda exports 60% of, of uh, Ugandan exports goes to Africa. Already. Uganda has already take, started taking advantage of the CFTA. Okay? And that's how you're able to cushion external shocks. Because, and that's why when you look at the number, okay, Uganda has been very stable, or ESC has been very stable in terms of the absorbing, or cushioning, okay, or mitigating the external shocks. Because we are trading amongst ourselves than trading with the rest of the world currently.